welcome to a new episode of... <laughs> I don't know. So welcome to a new episode of the Antipasti series. This is Nadia. I have got a special friend. He's actually a chef. So I decided, hey, maybe there's some stuff that I can learn from this guy. My special guest is... Fabrizio! So what are we going to do this week, Fabrizio? Well, uh, this week... Uh, no, this episode. Uh, this episode... See, si, and tell do... the people. Uh, grilled aubergine. It's a grilled, grilled. aubergine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not so good. You're asking me, I, I grilled know. Ober grilled aubergine? Grilled Grilled aubergine. Melanzana alla griglia. Alla griglia. Giusto? Yeah, sì, Where are you from? I'm from South Italy. No, be more from Calabria. 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 Good. And is in the land of uh, pepperoncino. I noticed yeah. that they are much more hairy. Have you noticed that too? No, <laughs> if you've noticed that people from south of Italy are more hairy, please leave a comment down below. <laughs> No, but no. Have you noticed that also the women are way hairy, much more than they should be? Yeah, like a monkey, basically. Like... <laughs> okay, good. good. So, what, how much uh, antibasti are we doing for how many people? Okay, we do from, uh, not from, four. Four? Four people. Four people. Four people. Okay, how many melanzanes are we using? Melanzane is aubergine. Depends. If the aubergine is genetically modified and the aubergine is like that, you probably you need just a quarter. But if the aubergine is normal like that, you need two. Okay? Okay, but listen. If this is one cut aubergine, right? Yeah, That's quite a lot of slices. Yeah, this is for one person Jesus. and this is for one person. But, yeah. I'll tell you this. Uh, when you will cook this, mm -hmm. this will be reduced. Ah, yes. Yeah. Of course. So, and then in case you burn something, mm. you have... Uh, burn, burn. Burned. Burn. Burned. Uh, you know, you have uh, the safe. In case know? something goes wrong during the cooking, you've got a backup plan. Yeah, exactly, the backup plan. So, we need two aubergine. Yeah. One clove of garlic. Yeah, we'll speak you. Or two, two like that, you see? Two cloves of garlic. And make sure you remove the green part inside, okay? That is not really nice. Oh, good! See, Interesting. Take out, you see? The middle part of the garlic is taken out. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. good. And then what else do we need? Then we need the olive oil. But inside there is fresh, just pressed, extra virgin olive oil from Tuscany that my friend brought me couple of months ago. Yes, it's very good. Nice. And then we need the uh, uh, balsamic vinegar. Okay, don't show the, the brand. We don't I'm sponsor the brand. We exactly. don't sponsor the brand. And then we need the salt and the basil. Our lovely plant of basil that is more, almost like extinct because we are using it. No, it, but it's also because in England it's very, very hard to grow basil. It's just it's very hard. Non gesta sole is a typical Italian expression means there is not a sun. Uh, first of all, even though we've got a chef, he's actually a chef, believe it or not, even if he's a little... Um, he did go to school for this. Huh? This is so simple, anyone can do. I mean, come on, I would never bring something to you that it's difficult to do. No. Vero? True. Ecco. True. Even though you were stressed to draw in 355 ingredients, I always say, Fabrizio, let's keep it real. People at home want something super A to B to do, to eat right away, not fuss about too much. So this is very simple to make. So, what do we do in first step? Okay, we cut the aubergine. We have like slice the aubergine here, but... <laughs> so what are we doing? So you cut the aubergine like that. Okay. So, so what do we do with the butt of the aubergine? We throw it away. <laughs> okay, good. So now you cut the aubergine, okay? See? Now the best thing to do 
is uh, to take the aubergine and put under the water mm -hmm. with a bit of salt. Okay, so, so let's do it. Now, why we put the aubergine in a bowl with a bit of salt? Because we take out the bitter... The bitterness of the... the... Bitterness of the aubergine. We don't want the bitterness of the aubergine. You got that? Take a bit of salt. Yeah, and we put a bit of water. Good, now we have a full of water the bowl and we make sure uh, the aubergine will be kind of wash. Now, as you will notice in a bee, the water will be will uh, change color and this looks like a pea. You see? Okay. <laughs> we take, we, basically it's like the aubergine is uh, it's free now, you understand? It's no... See, it's free of pee. It's free of pee, basically. It's, it's pee. So, hold on a second. You have to keep doing this for a long... A couple, couple of minutes. For a couple of minutes, you purify the aubergines. Take away all of the water. That is pretty, uh, pretty yellow. It's yellow. But you don't have to pronounce the the v at the at the end of yellow. Why? <laughs> no, it's, it's yellow because it's uh, put the accent on the fact that it's really yellow. Okay, fine. See, then you take uh, the the pan. You take a pan, take so a I'm non-stick. Non-sticky pan, not too high that you burn the aubergine, but. Medium, okay? Medium flame. So. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the cooker now and stick the frying pan with nothing in it. Nothing, nothing. No oil, no butter, no schifo, all right? No schifo. Okay, so. In the meantime that we warm up the pan, we prepare, we prepare a mix with olive oil. How much are you putting? Just like uh, Four three tablespoons? See. Three and a half. For to be on the safe side. And uh, one spoon of uh, this. Tablespoon? See. Si. Or teaspoon? Teaspoon. Big teaspoon, okay? <laughs> like a giant teaspoon. Is it like giant teaspoon? So then what do we do, Fabrizio? We cut the garlic. Mm. How yeah. do you cut it? In very small pieces? Yeah, very small pieces. All right. Ooh, All that right. looks good. But now we need like at least. Uh, uh, I, I, I very like basilico, so I say ten leaf. Ten, ten leaf. leaves of basilico for the little mixture. Yeah, for the little mixture, and uh, we put we wash the basil. We like wash. We invented the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we cut the basin <laughs> because we like the nice and wash. <laughs> so we, we cut this and we put it inside here, okay? And we put all together. You see? All together. And then we mix together. You see? Look. Oh, look at that. It's looking so good. Uh, I think the frying pan is. Uh, Super on fire. <laughs> you want to try that, yeah? I don't mind it, I, you know. Mm, oh my god, it's so good. Good. Yes. So let's go. We <laughs> are <laughs> Hey, God. It's very hot. <laughs> Look. So you just put, you lay them flat. Yeah. On a simple non-stick frying pan. Yes. The best would be like a nice flat non-sticky pan, but worst piece is already there. Okay. Okay. So. So how long do they have to be in the non-stick frying pan? So like, uh, on each side? Three minutes. Three minutes on each side Two and minutes. a medium flame. 
Yeah, obviously it depends with your medium flame what uh, exactly. Yeah, if your cooker is like uh, a fire breather, a thermonuclear yeah. base. It's like uh, <laughs> just one second. That, that, <laughs> one second. When it is gold brown, the aubergine, you can uh, turn. Like that is perfect. You see that? Do you see this color here? This is the perfect one. Alright, boy. Please on it. Put it on. Thank you. And uh, now we put the aubergine like there. You see like that the aubergine? And then look at this. Wow. Good. So I have a very important question. How long do you recommend to leave them soaked before you serve? Is that at least like five good minutes. Okay, good. And when it's ready like that, you see, you with all of the salt, you sprinkle like I that. Woo! And because I was just doing like that, you know, it's the aubergine. You see, when it's like that, but... Se credo, ce n'è solo una là dentro. Ecco qua, now... Like that. So, I just wanted to point out that he doesn't follow his own advice about waiting it to cool down. I just want to show you what he created. Actually, I'm going to give it back to him because it was his creation. You roll. Come on. Dai, di la verità che mo' stai morendo col... The garlic is eating his esophagus and is about to get... Ah! I'm going to try this one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. It does taste really good. Anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have any questions about ingredients, read, read the description down below. I've listed everything. Um, Fabrizio just goes on a roll. He just keeps eating once it gets started, so he won't be able to talk much. <laughs> But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you are amazing. And so are we. See, si, exactly. You can make us well how I did. Yeah. Sight, see, I don't do it. I'm in a moment of disaster. Eh, vabbè. Uh...